Okay, welcome back. This is part 22 of my How to Build a Community Site tutorial series. And in the last part, what we did is uh, we began our profile page, um, but we also uh, slightly edited our login and logout pages. And I, I uploaded the files to test and make sure they're working fine, and they weren't. It, I wasn't getting any errors, but then I went back and looked at the code, and I realized that this L in onload in both files, login and logout, the L must be capitalized, um, or else it's not going to work. So uh, once that's capitalized, go ahead and uh, try it out, and it should work fine. Um, so back to our profile page. Uh, what I did is I've gotten all the information from the database that you that I might want to display. Now, first name, last name, and email I likely will not display, um, but it's there if you want it to display on your site. So uh, it's up to you. Um, so for now, whoops. For now, um, the majority of this information we're going to display. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna blank out the first name, last name, and email uh, because I definitely will not be displaying those. Um, now, if you're using the locked, if you have a locked variable um, to make sure that uh, people um, can't do anything bad, or if they are doing something bad, you can just lock them out. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to put in an if statement. I'm going to say if dollar sign locked equals equals um, one, or if it equals zero, that means the user is not locked. Um, then we're going to display uh, whatever. Um, then we're going to put it in else, and that else is going to be an echo statement that is going to say. Um, uh, the user, or meh, you have selected is currently locked. So the user you have selected is currently locked. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put that as, uh, I'm going to center that text. So I'm going to go ahead and end the center. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that as an H1 text. Um, so, uh, center it, and H1, so that's going to make it really large. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to put a font color. I'm going to say color equals, and I'm going to make it red, and I'm going to end the font. So it's going to make uh, big text, it's going to be centered, and it's going to be red saying that that user is locked. Or the profile is locked, there we go. Profile you've selected is currently locked. There we go. So if it's not locked, what we want to do is we want to actually display the information. Um, so the first thing I want to display is the image. Um, so image src equals, and this is going to be the uh, avatar image. And then we're going to end the image. And what I'm going to do for now, I'm just going to put all this information on a different line. So after each thing, I'm just going to go ahead and put a line break. Um, now, eventually, I'm going to style this, but for now, I'm just going to display it on the page. Um, I'm going to put in their username, so user, just to make sure, and now this is just to make sure that, um, that we're getting all the information properly and that everything is working. Put website, um, YouTube, the date, um, the last login, which are these various information I've gotten up here. Um, we'll put the bio, and that's it. So for now, that's uh, what I'm going to be displaying, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the text of what it actually is right next to it. Say username now later on like I said I'm gonna go in and change this Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this and I'm going to FTP up the profile page 
and the um, just the profile page actually. Um, but also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my scripts folder and open up the status file. And the, where we just echo out the username, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that a link. And that link is going to take us to the profile page. So profile.php, question mark, ID equals, and then we're going to say user ID. Because if you remember, um, on our top page, we're setting session variables for the username and the user ID. So we're going to uh, put a username up here and we're going to make that link off to your own profile page so you can see what it looks like currently. So I'm going to pause the video now and I'm going to uh, FTP up all those files. Okay, so I've gone ahead and uploaded the files. Uh, so you can see right here on our status page, you immediately see that my username has been made into a link. So if we click it, you can see it right up here. It takes us to profile.php ID equals one because that's the ID of my account. And you can see we're displaying the username, and we're not displaying the website. That means we've got a problem with that. Uh, the YouTube username is not being displayed. Uh, the date registered is good. The last login is not displaying anything because there's nothing in my database for that. Um, and the bio isn't displaying anything. Now, I'm not entirely sure if there's anything in the database for bio, but I think there might be something. Okay, so I'll figure that out later. Um, so the first thing we want to do is we want to check our website. Now, I think I'm already connected right here. So bio is just set to bio. Um, so I guess there's just nothing in my database for bio. Um, website is set correctly. YouTube um, is set correctly. Huh. Okay, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to go ahead and add that information to my account uh, using PHP my admin. So I will be back in a moment. Okay, so what I went ahead and did is I went into my database and edited my file, my information for my account. So I'm going to hit F5 on my keyboard to refresh. So you can see we now have the uh, website, the YouTube, and a bio um, set. Now, see in my bio it says I'm the site admin and I made this site. Now, in my database, uh, in my MySQL database, it's actually multiple lines. So, that is sort of problematic, um, but I can show you how to fix that very easily. So, what we want to do is for our bio, where we have our row, we want to say um, NL2BR. So, new line to break. That's what it actually stands for. And we just put that inside of, whoops inside of uh, parentheses so it automatically makes any new line that's in that's stored in that text information that's in the database it's automatically going to make that into a new line uh, when we display it um, now I'm also going to make the website a link so um, and that's just going to link to website and go ahead and end the link and I am also going to make the YouTube website. Whoops. Okay, maybe not. Um, a href equals, and this is going to be HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.youtube.com slash. Now, if you want, you can just put the uh, YouTube variable here, or you could put slash users slash, and then the YouTube uh, variable. We want to end the link. Um, also what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my login page and I'm going to scroll down into right before we set our session variables and I'm going to create a variable called date I'm going to set equal to uh, date and then inside I'm going to say f d y but just like that and I'm going to run a MySQL query trying to finish this before the video is done um, and we'll say um, update users set last underscore login um, equal to and this is going to be date um, where okay so I'm gonna stop this video now uh, so I don't run over my time
Um, in the next video, I'm going to explain what I'm doing.